Hey everyone, this is uh, another race first times and oh Little N64 here. What do, what do you have me playing? We're gonna be playing <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be playing Star Wars Rogue Squadron for the N64 Figured it would be fitting since uh, Force Awakens just came out on blu-ray this week So I figured why not ha expose him to a really great and uh, fantastic Star Wars game for N64. And we have the expansion pack in it too, so you get the high resolution graphics. Because this is one of the games that took advantage of the uh, extra video RAM it provided. So what do I do? Start a game. That's our new one. Looks you can like start a new game if you want. I, I, I wouldn't play, I haven't played mine in a while. Can I erase yours? No, don't erase mine. <laughs> that sounds like a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Yeah. Oh, I get to name myself three Yeah, letters. you can name yourself whatever you want. Name yourself ass. I was gonna do <laughs> I was gonna do that. I was thinking that exact same thing. Alright. Are you sure? Ass. <laughs> yeah, the studio that made this game, they're not in existence anymore. Really? Yeah, Factor 5. They did a lot of good stuff. They did um Super Turrican, um Turrican 2 for the Amiga and the um all the ports and stuff. They did a lot of good stuff. Oh man. You can only pick the X-Wing though for the first mission, I believe. Cause this is, cause you're still training. Training, I was born to fly an X-Wing. That, was... guy, that guy better get out of the way. Yeah, he better. I was like is the graphics. walking with the GIMP? I always like the graphics on this game though. Uh, they, they, I think they did a really good job with the N64 on this. Hope Disney doesn't sue us for this. <laughs> like blacks out that one part. I forget when this takes place. I don't think it says in the back of the box. No, I don't know when this takes place, but if I had to guess, if I had to guess, it's probably between the first and second um, film, between Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. Wait, is this going to be like one of those games where like down is up and up is down? Yeah, because you're flying a plane. <sighs> oh, I play <laughs> you're one flying game. a plane. I played Crimson Skies, and I sucked at that game because I just couldn't master the it's pack. It's like flying a plane. Right. You're literally flying a plane. Oh, how, how I get you, it now. Yeah, I'm like, I just got a picture. I'm in a cockpit. Down. Yeah, pull yeah. up. Oh my god. That's what it's all about. Well, nobody explained that to me like that when I was younger. Everybody's just like, yeah, this is how it's done. This should be because it's a plane. I don't even remember what the story was in this game. All I knew that it was a lot of fun. And on the Hoth missions, you can see the little um, snow troopers yeah, walking around, right. and you can shoot them, and they just go. Bow, bow, bow. Bow. Oh, we could take an early morning run through Beggar's Canyon. When do I shoot stuff? Now. Luke, I Yay! Oh Frodo. God. It's gonna take me. What am I shoot? The probe droids. I don't even know. B shoots. Hold it. You see your radar at the top upper right? Yeah. So the area you're in, if it doesn't turn orange, you're in the area where you're supposed to destroy enemies, which are those red dots. Ah! You can press A and hold A and you'll boost forward so you can get and turn around and get the enemies. See, Cause see where that triangle's moving? Okay, so now you're How do I break? Uh the Z. In your upper left is your shield on your ship. So you should probably you're yellow already. Wait. So you gotta mean? you gotta turn well you start out green, now you're yellow and you get orange and then you become red and then you die. 
You should turn to the right, though. Is that whole one of those sandworm things? I so like it. No. You should turn to the... There you go. And then hold... If you hold break... And then really shoot the shit out. Just take all the... Yeah. Robots now. Good shot, ass. <laughs> 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 Alright boys, where are we headed now? Nice blast, ass. Follow your radar. <laughs> Pull up! <laughs> Follow your radar, right? Oh god. So what am I rotates. doing? So if you want to fly straight ahead, there you go. Oh, there's a little people there, you can blow them up. <laughs> you can blow up the little land speeder too. These guys aren't shooting. No, because you're on training mission. Radar on the upper the right. Orange. Yeah, you follow the orange. Oh. And then it it fans out when you're in presence of enemies. Those, those aren't enemies. Oh, God, they're they they forward. come up as red on the radar. Oh yeah. There there you go. There's more probots. I just want to play Star Fox now. Okay, we'll play Star Fox. When? Oh, when, whatever. Dad? When? When? Whenever. When? I should watch the Cinemassacre today. And then do that Star Fox. And then the power ran out at the end. And the guy was explaining how when he was doing something when he was younger uh, on Super Nintendo. This is completely off topic. <laughs> um, Z. The power, the power went out. No, I'm, I've been breaking this whole entire time. The Dude. power went out when he was playing a game. <laughs> he just lost everything that he did. I was like, oh, God, that sucks. Speaking of power going out, there was something I was reading on the internet a while back where this guy had his Earthbound game going for, like, 20 years on his, fam on his Super Famicom, and he never cut the power to it. I still don't know if it's true or not, but it's interesting. Power never went out once. Yeah, I guess not. Or you kept it hooked up to like maybe a battery supply or something. Hold A. So you go faster to get to your objective. I don't know if I'm hitting him. Get him in your crosshairs? Yeah. Just don't destroy the buildings. There's like different well, challenges. They're destroying the buildings. There's different challenges too. Like if you if you take them all out without destroying buildings, you get like I think a gold medal. Um, yeah, I got you. There's a there's a ton of different medals you can get depending on how fast you beat the level too. So I guess in that way it's kind of like achievements or trophies or whatever. It, give, it, it adds a lot of replay value to this game because there's only like 15 or 15, 16 missions, I think, if I remember. Mm. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm a first timer to this game. I'd like to see what you did when you first opened this thing. I beat it. Also, I knew that up was down and down was up for a plane game. Any type of craft, anything. There used to be cheats for this game too. Like you would enter them in a cheat menu and stuff. Like there used to be, as in the game said, no, I'm not accepting cheats anymore and you can't put them in. We did it, we saved Moss Eisley. Saved Moss Eisley. We might make a name for ourselves after all. Let's see if you get a uh, medal. Yeah, you didn't get a You didn't even get a bronze. <laughs> just, it'll tell you what you had to do, though, see, which is really cool. So if you'd beaten it 10 seconds quicker, you would have gotten a bronze. That's stupid. You see friendly saves. We don't need to look at that anymore. <laughs> Escort valuable rebel supplies through dangerous really? imperial territory over the humid lands of Barkesh. 
Make a different ship? No. You still have to fly the X-Wing. It tells you at the beginning. It's the ship that's in green you can use. The red ships. Ships in red you can't use. It's when you revisit the level you can use it. And see, you've got the Nebu Starfighter in the back. You can fly that on some of the missions. Because this came out around the time that um everyone was getting, I guess, excited for episode one. Yeah, Joe, we get it. We don't. You don't like any of the episodes. Squadron. This is General Riken. One of our Pretty shuttles will cool rendezvous with a small convoy from local resistance on Barkash. Oh, this level, I remember so. You have to protect that uh, convoy of trains. No, yeah, that sucks. Sure. But, um, there's a serious convoy of trains. You have to protect them. Good luck. And don't let them blow up. And it's not some easy level where the game's like, oh, yeah, you can take a couple hits. No, you gotta protect them. Take your targets and go. I forget what the C buttons do in this game. Missiles. There you go. I get to see. Okay. Remember, follow that orange. Oh my god. Because you only have a certain amount of, uh, because the, the convoy keeps moving. Yeah, now that I know that I'm timed, too. Well, you're not timed. You can play the game as long as you want. What the fuck's going on here? Those, oh, that's convoy. The, yeah, you have to protect them. Right. They're gonna move pretty slow. Let's go. Let's fuck these guys up. All right, road group. The supply vehicles have begun. Why are my missiles all slow? I don't know. The smaller craft are the combat vehicles. Um, well, you just. Oh my God. Hold B. Oh, down and C changes how fast you shoot. There's a robot right there. Oh no, it's an it's an ATS. Let's look. We're not. We don't need this. Let's do it. ATS. ATS. Yes. <laughs> Convoy's going this way. I don't care. Why would you tell me that? Now, just keep going. Those red dots take them out. But there are red dots behind you, which are probably tie bombers. Laser cameras you made. Basically, my best word of advice is take out all the red dots before they kill you. Duh, I tell. Duh. That was already in my head. Did I get like infinite missiles? Oh no. No, you definitely have one more missile. I mean, definitely. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh my god. I can't fucking shoot these. Slow down and shoot him. There you go. The orange is pointing, I think, because you didn't kill him. Huh? Oh, that guy's dead. Yeah, I mean, they're going to follow that path. Um, so that's why it's cool, because you can go ahead a little bit and take out, like, any of the bigger enemies. But see if you leave them too far behind, you got TIE Bombers coming. Suck it! I think you also get, I think you get gold on this if you don't let any of the convoy get destroyed too. Sweet. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. 
<laughs> yeah, that was the thing I remember when playing this level. I was like, this is so... this is taking forever. I know, it is, it is a little slow. But I mean, they're carrying God knows what. It's gotta be heavy if they're going that slow. Do two things at once. I, I want. I, I, I'm trying to control the game, and then I'm trying to think of. I mean, you might be able to play. change it in options. Uh, Joe, that's cheating. If I'm gonna fly into a freaking mountain, <laughs> I want to do it and laugh at it afterwards, <laughs> not because uh, I changed the controls. Oh, looks like is, he did. Like, it's rain. Ooh. The shuttle is clear. She'll pick up the rest of this cargo. The Rebel Alliance will appreciate those supplies, especially after we lost Yavin base. Cargo ain't gonna fit in there. Oh, I thought it. they're taking all the cars with them. No, look at that, you got bronze. I didn't even get silver? I did pretty freaking good. What do you gotta do in there? Like Probably your accuracy. Yeah, your accuracy hurt you. You destroyed one more enemy, and you would have had a gold. Or a silver. Search for non Now you fly the A-Wing. Well, there's a cheat for this too, where you can unlock all the ships for any level too. <laughs> I missed that, you <laughs> so long. Uh... Rogue Squadron, this is General Riken. A rebel ship called the Nona recently crashed somewhere in this vicinity. Wait, I already crashed? A team of rebel soldiers no, you have to. I think equipment. you have to reclaim the wreckage. You must find them before the Imperials do. Yeah, duh, that's not the ship that I was in. Wow. No, you're definitely. Okay, in paying attention now. I'm picking up multiple signals. Ties and coming in fast. So now you got, you got real time interceptors coming. In. Wait, those other ones weren't real? No, well, those were bombers, so they're not going to shoot back at you. These are interceptors. Rather than waste your accuracy, why don't you just get close and take them down? Want me to get that silver medal? You apparently really want to get that silver. <laughs> Pull the stick up. Oh. Yeah, you got two more lives. Make them count. And that you magically appeared again. Rift just came out. We can go plop down six hundred dollars for that. Why not? If it wasn't six hundred dollars and it was like affordable, so what? Six hundred dollars and affordable on this life? No. Why not? It's cheap. For something that just came out in his new tech. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally got killed by a brick wall. No, you definitely skimmed off of that probot. And no, I know, that's what I'm saying. It. The thing's just standing still. I might as well just drive my ship into a wall. No, Joe, you said follow the orange. No, I know, but I'm just saying. Why do you keep doing that? I, I, Probably too many first person shooters. Just go after target. 
for some walkers. Ah, too many TSC. Get him. I think you have misses on the way. Yeah, I got eight. I got eight ocho. I got ocho missiles. Right, now I'm gonna fall for these. Yeah, I mean, they are shooting at you, so. Why'd you just break? If you were on my team, I'd shoot you down. What? <laughs> you're clearly you're missing the red dot on your radar. Yeah, but it says it's to go here. Let's keep the crew out of danger until our shuttle can pick them up. Yeah, and it probably cost me a silver medal. There's no. more bombers. You know, people lose heads in the locker room if you take away someone's kill and you didn't get that silver medal. Looks like these bombers are going to be shooting at you. It's definitely a red object. I think it's that large one. Um, transport. No, not that one. That's you. What do you mean that's me? Who shot me? Probably your own guy, because you shot at the thing. That's it. Wait, what do you mean that's it? That's it. Game over? Yeah, game over. You got three lives, and that's it. I don't get to continue. No. I'm so really good, though. Do I get any freebies? No. My turn. What do you mean your turn? It's it's my first time. What do you mean you get to play? That's right. Sometimes you gotta tag in. <laughs> you <laughs> tag shit. You grab my controller. Why don't we stop being an ass <laughs> and play a real game? Fuck. Some bullshit. I wanna play. The <laughs> Bell calamari. That's the last level. That's weird. All right. Expect some giant freaking octopus. Octopus. Oh, this is the one where you take out this thing's legs. You, you get know, to I drive the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. I can be anything. <laughs> What's that tag in? <laughs> where is it? Come you on. can come on. Is it? Go back one. I know. Because you can literally be any of the ships, but like some of the ships are not are not good to use for this at all. Like the Millennium Falcon isn't? No, I think it's fine. But like, I, I, I know that the snow speeder, you wouldn't take on this. It would make no sense. Take out that thing's legs. What the fuck is that thing? I think those are like, um, those are thrusters. But yeah, you take out the legs on all four sides, and the whole thing goes down. This is Commander Wedge Antilles of Rogue Squadron. We are coming to your assistance. I just didn't know I had three lives. 
I knew that would have been more careful. I told you you had like two left after you crashed the first time. I feel like games came out like this. And uh, like now, if they had to put on the box, you only get three lives, otherwise it'd be a lawsuit or <laughs> something. <laughs> Falcon is the fastest ship in the galaxy. <laughs> Wait, slow down. Oh, I'm going slow crazy. Down. Slow down. Joe, the Millennium Falcon stops for no one. Shoot, shoot up those legs. Shit, I ain't going way too fast. Yeah, you gotta slow down. It's a big ship. You're hit too. No, I'm hit. What the? Okay. Make sure the legs. Or no, wait. On top, I think there's a shield thing on top. So go on the top of the thing, and you're gonna see like this thing on like uh, it's got a couple. Of it's like a tripod coming off. Go all the way up to the top of it. What was it? Turn to the right. When in doubt, follow the radar. See that thing up there? You can go destroy that first. Yes, and now you can take the leg. So the left leg. Yeah, you know you have to stop them before they get to the city, right? What? You're telling me this after. Gone. The more, you, yeah, you really gotta take those legs out. See how close he got to that city? I stopped him? He, he, he killed a couple of buildings, but... What do I do now? Follow your radar! Oh my god. This dude's on my ass. He must be pilot ass. Follow your radar. <laughs> Hold A to go faster. I am on A. Yeah, you gotta stop the TIE fighters and stop the TIE bombers from bombing. Just turn around and kill them. Look at that. Why don't Bob like shoot wherever it wants to? Use your missiles. You got 15 of them. Crash into a ship, do I die? Yeah. No? Is that really a question? These guys are good. Uh, this doesn't lock on. Why do you keep changing it though? I wouldn't change it back until you just find it and lock on. It's not locking it on. That's why I thought I had to like reset it or something. I 
let's close that city. You didn't destroy the two buildings when you dropped the feet that kind of fell on. So you gotta destroy the shield pod again. Old man's getting close to that city. Whoa! That thing sucks you in. Yeah, definitely go left. A beautiful world sacrificed for the emperor's greed. Suck me in, boy! Oh God! What am I doing? Too many villains got destroyed. I won. I don't know. No, you didn't. Oh. <laughs> Too many villains got destroyed. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, I don't want to be the Falcon for this mission. Oh! <sighs> I don't want to be a Falcon for this one. Well, you have to be. I picked it. Important level. How come you told me to pick the Millennium? You got excited and picked it. Because I didn't have the Millennium Falcon. Escape from fest. During the Talaran operation. Escaping from a party. Okay. Right, let's do it. Let's do this. During the Talaran operation. The, the one that I said to do, it just took y'all. Look around like ten other friggin' levels. When you reach your destination, you'll find an Imperial research facility from which a team of rebel commandos are attempting to liberate a squad Just of ATVs. Just like a James Bond Their level. Their escape has become compromised, oh, from and we need yeah, your help yeah. to get them out of there. The speeders and tow cables will help you with any walkers you may find. Good luck. Rogue Squadron, report in. Rogue 7, standing by. Rogue 8, standing kill that by. Thing like that. Rogue 9, yeah. standing by. Rogue 10, standing by. Squeeze for the time. This is the level I was talking about with the little guys. <laughs> you have to control that? Yeah. How come you're orange? You fucking suck. You gave it the last 20 seconds. That was longer than 20 seconds. I can't believe you tagged me in for that. Shit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Tag me in. Alright, I'm gonna do one more level. God help us all. <laughs> I'm gonna do it on your account. God, your hands get sweaty. Holy shit. Sorry, it happens. I'm gonna take them off. Scary. Yeah, that one I think you'd take out like this huge power generator. Those A wings. So you can be anything you want to be. A wings. Did they make a toy for the A wing pilot? Yeah, it's one of the first A wing pilot toys. Um. Part of the Power of the Force Last 17 by Kenner. Since 1985. And there's an A-Wing 
toy. They count the droid series. Imperial forces are attempting to bombard and surround the city with wall buildings. You must protect the hover train. Yeah. The supplies it is carrying must reach Kandrilla, or we will lose the city. Were these graphics good for this system? Yeah, I mean, I think they're still pretty, still pretty decent. So it's got less going on, though. It's got less going on, like, you know, Mario 64. Mario 64? Oh, no. That's not a launch system. Huh? That was a launch title for the system. It wasn't as good as this. The graphics weren't. That was a launch title. Look, if you look at all the texturing and stuff of this game, I mean, this game uses the expansion pack. It's got, um, it's got a oh, higher two for one. It's got Did a higher resolution. Oh, it does. Yeah, it's got a slightly higher resolution. Like if you actually use the expansion pack with um, Shadow Man, it bumps up the resolution of the game from I think 320 by 240 to um, 680 by or no 640 by 480. It doubles the resolution on Shadow Man, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, you need to yellow, right? You need to cover this. Well, that hit me. And I mean, you need the expansion pack for some games, like Majora's Mask, uh, Donkey Kong 64. It came with Donkey Kong 64. And that, that train, those people are done. Come on, shoot, shoot, go faster and get him. Chase him. God. How much of that train is left? A lot. That guy in the engine, the, the engineer or conductor was probably crapping his pants. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> he definitely lost. Three cars already. <laughs> Sorry, man. I should have been a rider. <laughs> oh, you just bounced off your teammate. They're attacking the city now. Your resistance is useless, as you can see I have blockaded the city, and Candrilla is now mine. You will surrender, or I will shoot you all down. Alright. Enemy fighters have marked the like, right I'm on it. What? It just flew over them. Wrong. What the fuck? Okay. Just go down and take him out. Okay. What the fuck? It's not letting me, it's like an invisible wall. Just help him out, take the city down. What? No! Help him out. Take Joe. the down. I'm not giving in to your dark side. There's nobody even attacking this goddamn city. It's some bullshit. I think the game just decided to take you out. I wasn't even near that building! I mean, my ship had enough. My ship was like... Because it was, it was blinking. Maybe it just like my ship gave out. the side of the building. I'm fly right through this. The type of armor is like ignoring you. It's like he's not gonna hit us. <laughs> this guy's a noob. Like this guy can't hit us at all. <laughs> can't even hit my own ship. Look, look Frank, I got so close to him. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> I 
I don't know if I got lucky they blew that thing up. Or I missed it. Why don't you try using missiles? No, Joe, everybody knows missiles aren't gonna work. Get closer. There you go. Everyone knows missiles are the best thing to use <laughs> in this game. Surprise, come back. Protect the evacuation shuttle. Wait, are there a bunch of people that are going to come out? Evacuate. Yeah, I think so. Or people are going to get into them. Because you're back here in the city. Alright. That works too. You got really close. What? I was like, I was going to skim right through well, them though. I'm pretty glad the game took you out. You got close. We're playing with fire. Shit. Nah, it's because you can't smooth that shit out. It's not just like you have to go around in a rectangle around them. <laughs> you can't fucking get close enough. I thought you were gonna do it again. No! Did I learn from my mistakes? Yeah, turn left. I think they're coming back. Sucks. You picked it. This mission sucks. Oh god. Gotcha. I'll just like turn me right side out. Did you see that? Return to base team. I think you lost. What do you mean I lost? I I was killing them. How did I lose? You didn't kill them fast enough. They destroyed the city. You can't let them destroy that much of the city. That's the problem. So what'd you think? It's alright. I don't know. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's fun, but I mean, I don't know, I'm not super excited, like, play it, play it. We should have played Rogue Leader on the GameCube. That one's good, too. That one's real good. Is it like a sequel to this? It's the sequel, yeah, it's the second one. Oh. It's probably the best one in the series. Maybe we'll play it then. I don't know. It was fun. But. I don't know. Spoiled. 
What? Spoiled. <laughs> this guy is spoiled. This game should be spoiled. Oh, I'm just alive. I'm just keep doing this. Some bullshit. If three lives. You're lucky you even get one. Because I just one goddamn TIE fire that the game said that you lost? No. It, they destroyed the town. Turn it off. Turn it off.